people keep asking me what exactly happens in orthopedic residency. So let me explain it in a very simple and honest way without complicating it. The way it was during my times. So orthopedic residency starts with formals. Your first few days are just orientation. You understand where the wards are, where the OPD is, what the hospital protocols are and basically how the department functions. This orientation usually lasts around five days where you get oriented by your, your department as well as your hospital. After that, your real residency begins. Most colleges have two or three units. If there are three units, it, it simply means the OPD days are divided. Unit one, for example, has OPD day on Monday unit 2 on Tuesday and unit 3 on Wednesday. Whichever unit you are in, your OPD day is fixed according to that. On your OPD day, so consider you are in unit 1, so it's Monday. Your work starts at 9 a.m. and goes until 4 p.m. As a first year, you do not diagnose. You take history, examine the patient under guidance and mostly follow your seniors. You learn by watching them. Second years, third years, senior residents and sometimes assistant professors supervise the OPD. After 4 p.m., OPD officially ends. It's an outpatient department. But your day doesn't end. You become an on-call, which means you are responsible for the casualty and emergencies till the next morning, 9 a.m. Any patient who comes with trauma or injuries, you have to attend first, inform your seniors and manage according to their instructions. The next day after OPD is usually OT day. OTs start early around 7 a.m. Initially as a first year, you mostly observe and assist. Second years assist more actively and do basic procedures. Third years do the majority of surgeries depending on the hospital structure like the hierarchy. In some colleges, senior residents and consultants take most of the major cases and the third years assist them. This varies from place to place. The day after OT is the ward day. Ward day is mainly rounds and dressings. Every patient in the ward needs to be seen in the morning and evening, irrespective of what day it is. On ward day, you do the same things. As a first year, hard work and wound care becomes a big part of your routine. Different units have their systems of how dressings and rounds are done. And you learn all of that in the first few months. The cycle, this cycle continues throughout the year. OPD day, then OT day, and then ward day. And again OPD. During, during the first year, most colleges give first year simple procedures like k wire fixation. Second years get more hands-on work like kneeling. So tibia kneeling, tumor kneeling. The third years get the maximum exposure to major surgeries. But again, this depends completely on your seniors and faculty. Some places give a lot of opportunities, some give less. Hierarchy is always fixed. Trust me on this. You inform, the, uh, you inform your second year, they inform the third year, the third year informs the senior resident and then the consultant decide the plan. This is how residency goes. So now coming to the next question, is it okay to opt for a orthopedics from a private hospital? Yes, we'll talk about how to choose a like what is better, government or private. But for now, remember one thing, orthopedics is not about the hospital. It's about your hands, your training and how badly you want to learn. Of course, residency is tough. But if you love bones, this field will definitely love you back. See you next time.